parang O oh, di ba na nag live na pala I'm still checking my Hi everyone, good evening. I believe you are live, no? Yes, let's just wait for our viewers to come. Chat naman kayo kung narinig nyo kami properly. Yes. Oh, Hi to our yeah. uh, regular viewers. Regular? Oh my God, I almost... May feedback na. Wala yung... I mean, nanakulit. Ano wala? Hi everyone. At least may feedback ba? May feedback daw. Ah, Hi, good evening. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, ayan. Wait, hold on. Hi everyone on Facebook. Ayan. O diba, ang bilis ng panahon. At tapos na Thursday. Diba? I know. Eh, tapos na Thursday. Pa tapos na ang September. Parang kailan. Tapos na. Wala na daw. Wala na daw feedback. Okay. Ayan. So, hi everyone. Good evening. So, ayan. Sa uh, mga avid viewers natin. Diba? Sa mga avid viewers natin, magandang gabi sa inyo. At sa mga kakanood pa lang first time for today's video o di ba hi yeah. sa inyo kumusta and welcome to hello live and please try, try to make it a habit na like this is part of your thursday habit so this thursday is also um a sequel or rather part two of last week's let's get to the video. so Okay. So mag-hi ka naman yun sa mga ano mga mga ladies ayan si Ate Penny, si Sayan. Shout out yeah. naman Grand so please feel free to type in your your, your opinion, your your comments yan sa comment section ayan. Very exciting yeah. today. Well, actually, we have a very special guest tonight. Hindi na lang kami ni Eunice ang makikita niyo dito. Yes, correct. O di ba si Ate Vivian? Oh. Good evening everyone. Oh, good evening Ate. O di ba? Ang saya-saya. Yeah. Hindi so, pa tayo na meron pang manood, di ba? Or... Oo. And while we're waiting, we're still very early, no? It's saktong 6.30 pa lang. Ano, uh, share natin to sa mga mga friends natin. Share natin yung live. I think I'm also live on my own personal page. O, di ba? Kala mo. Kalain mo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, from Tondo. Ayan. So, yeah. Share it to your friends, to your neighbors. Ayan. Saktong saktong hapon na natapos na rin yung shift ko dito sa office. But hindi pa ako umuwi kasi traffic is real. And ako na lang mag-isa ngayon or we never know, di ba? So, ako din ako sa rin sa office. <laughs> Ayan. So, audio not clear. Un- no clear? Audio not clear. Baka ako. Ako po ba? Or... Hindi. Hello. Hindi ako. Eh, masyadong nakababa yung... <coughs> Possible. Or sige, I'll, I'll, ilapit ko din yung IG ko. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so. Ayan, from Caloocan City. Watching here in Rosario Pasig. Oh, kasiti ko pala si ate, Penny. Oh, oh diba? Rosario Pasig. Tapos ito, oh my gosh, Caloocan. Parang, ka- ano, kakagaling ko lang dyan sa isang nearby city malapit sa Kaloocan yesterday. So, I came from Navotas. O, di ba? Magkakalapit yun. So, yes. my God. Parang alam na alam ko na yung lugar na yun. So, sabi ni Ate Nora, um, name? Yes, ma'am. Ayan. May mga nakikita ako ngayon dito na nakita ko ulit last week kasi, di ba, Eunice, parang, kumbaga, this is, this is, this is, this is a, this is a pivotal, pivotal, di ba? Pivotal moment for Big C. <laughs> Because yes. we are now on our level 2, kunwari. Um, hindi siya, hindi siya, ano nga, hindi ito, ano, hindi ito biro. Kumbaga, it's a, it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal stage of Big C right now. Because, mamaya, o yan, uh, mamaya, after ng intro ni Eunice, babanggitin ko kung bakit phenomenal ang stage na to or face na to for Big C. So, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces, faces, or oh, I mean names, and I'm also seeing some new Name so maganda yan so we want the we want the the usual listeners and of course we also want new people to especially ladies to come in and you know like join the live events and very dynamic talaga yung mga live events natin di ba so yes. from finances to insurance to saving yes. to everything yes. now yes. we have uh, we have ano uh, we have someone na di ba na mamaya na natin siya introduce ha but uh, kumbaga parang um, she will not only be 
discussing about you know like her uh yung mga personal uh, personal insights niya on uh, time and financial management but you know she's she's a living example of uh, balance kumbaga so kailangan natin yan as women so habang nagwo-work tayo nagne-negosyo nag-aalaga ng mga kids and all we also need that uh, sort of physical balance or physical yes. wellness that's good for our being so brief ano pa lang ha brief pasilip pa lang yan of what our uh, what we are expecting for tonight so i think uh 6:35 na so siguro Eunice intro mo na go do your intro after so, my intro <laughs> so magandang magandang gabi sa lahat ng viewers natin sa IG at sa lahat ng viewers natin sa LinkedIn and sa Facebook so ayan welcome to another episode of Let's Get Physical with a very exciting guest but before anything else intro to the intro muna ang peg natin di ba so of course welcome to Bixi i'm sure lahat kayo na download niyo yung app namin and all so sa so mga hindi pa i-download niyo yung app and i'm sure you really know already by heart of uh, what Bixi is all about di ba but Uh, first, hindi kami here, uh, hindi kami nandito to, to give financial advice. Hindi kami mga financial or insurance advisors niya, but we're only providing the platform and the network for for women to to invest on their knowledge about financing. So, ayun na nga, ano ba yung very special about Big C, yung core of Big C, di ba? So, alam, alam ko nagtatanong kayo sa mga nakasubaybay sa social media na namin. Bakit ba lagi ako nakita ng rice? Rice project, rice project, ganyan. So, eto na nga. Let's get down to business. What is Big C? Sandali. Eto. Rice okay. project. Rice. Ayan. So, uh, rice. So, bakit nga ba rice? Sabi ni, napakanta ako dun sa let's get down to business. O, oh, diba? Para, okay. Ano ba yun? Sa That's Mulan, oh, di ba? Oh my yeah. God, I'm I'm dating, I'm aging myself here, but yeah, that's that's Mulan. So, um, rice. Bakit rice? So this is resilience investments for SMEs that empower women. As I mentioned, as I mentioned, kanina, sorry, Yunis, meron ka daw echo sa ano sa IG. Ayon, parang wala na siguro. So, Ayon. So, sab- so na mention ko kanina, we are Big C is in a phenomenal or in a kumbaga a very uh, pivotal stage, no? Uh bucket kasi uh, before if you noticed, we've always been like, hey, download the app, join our community, but now uh, we still want you uh, of course, ladies to yes. join the to download the app and join the community. But this is a very um this is a very significant uh, part because we're making things happen. Kumbaga, yung pinag-uusapan natin before na web3 lapit na natin sa mga kababaihan. So, resilience investments for SMEs that empower women. Grabe no, hindi siya alam mo yung kumbaga parang these are very these are very simple words when you know when when you piece them together like resilient um in investment or investing SMEs or small and medium enterprises tapos women empowerment. Lagi natin naririnig tong mga to, but we decided to 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 like join them together to form the word rise because we want women to rise. So ano nga ba tong rise project na to? So uh ayan. So uh with the rise project, ayan, we are on a mission to empower women Female entrepreneurs, ayan, na pre-selected by our partner. So, magkakasama dito ang CRS, ang Big C, CRS or Catholic Relief Services, uh, Union Bank X, and Big C. Because we are all on a mission to empower female entrepreneurs, ayan, with knowledge, network, and tools to build resilience. So, papano to? So, meron tayong more than 500. Grabe, no? Yung 100 ka, madami na ba? How much more? More than 500 women ang makakatanggap na cash, insurance and investment Lah- ang pinakamaganda dito digital to walang wal- hindi siya pwedeng mawala na na mawala sa bulsa or mahulog sa kalsada because everything from end to end is digital anong gamit natin of course ang Bixi app so tatlong tranches po ito and that or that long wave so may cash um my cash tranche my insurance and investment so very excited actually mga kababaihan natin in fact may mga na-receive na po tayo sa ating social media na natanggap na nila gagamitin nila sa para sa kanilang e-loading st- uh, stations gagamitin nila sa delivery ng mga services yung isa po meron siyang printing and photocopying ma- machine so it's really working kumbaga parang now we are we are not just creating 
we're not just creating a concept but we're 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 seeing action we're seeing the start of resilience in in in, in, in different women's uh lives so lives rather so at, at ang maganda dito yung mag, naging pilot program natin ng rice ay nasa Philippines ayan shout out sa mga nasa Philippines ayan lahat kami ngayon nasa Philippines and not only that we also have learned to earn quizzes games and content and events this is actually one of the events no na pwede kayong mag or, uh, mag-learn at the same time now we are also using na bagkit ko kanina nilalapit na natin yung web3 sa mga kababaihan dati parang concept lang siya ngayon totoo na web3 is real sabi nga kasi for uh, one of the waves the tranches ginagamit na nila yung vix coins nila to to claim actually yung yung um cash grant nila or cash investment nila and that's very nice kasi kahit ako nung una parang hala po paano kaya to but it's real para it's happening and last but not the least they only need a phone and of course an internet connection so lahat naman tayo ngayon di ba talagang gina g tayo when it comes to phones talagang gusto natin especially sa mga kababaihan ang mga pilipino hiling natin sa cellphone so we everything is here everything is kumbaga everything is in the palm of your of our hands and we want to empower women with the power of smartphone with the power of technology with the power of big c to rise so this is the concept of rise so if you have any other questions inquiries punta lang kayo sa social media namin uh, social media channels namin we have uh, um facebook we have linkedin we have instagram yeah and so you can you can mention us you can comment on our pages you can uh private messages kung medyo shy kayo. You can even comment right now. Ayan. Good evening sa lahat watching from Brangay 14. Sabi ni Jeril. So, yeah, just uh, for tonight, if you want to know more about this, just comment there. And I think I have to end the, the uh, this muna to give way to our next segment. So, I give the floor back to Eunice. So, thank you very much, Attorney Bill. So, like what I said kanina, this is part two of our last week's uh leg of let's get physical so ano nga ba nangyari last week diba? so we also had a guest uh si miss jen reyes she's a known uh philippine volleyball player and she was formerly playing like college life niya for the national university and so much under her belt so she gave us tips and tips and tricks or rather um on, on how to maintain a healthy lifestyle and how to have your own routine kahit na nasa bahay tayo, di ba? Kasi nga, after all, we cannot make good financial decisions if we are not physically uh, well or if you don't have that physical wellness. So, of course, for our part two, let me read your introduction first, di ba? So, bigatin din tong guest natin for today's video, oh, di ba? So, she is a 27-year-old elite athlete currently playing for the Philippine Women's National Football Team. Oh, di ba yung sport pa lang niya? Panlalaki siya. Ang, yun ang mga sinasabi ng mga iba. Panlalaki lang niya, pero hindi. Kahit ang babae, pwede maglaro ng football, di ba? Who recently made history as the first foot of Filipino football team, male or female, to ever qualify for the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 in Australia and New Zealand. Grabe naman, emphasis applied. So, isa siya sa mga nag-qualify sa upcoming 2023 World Cup sa Australia at sa New Zealand. So, dapat nating abangan yan. So, she's also serving as one of the team's veterans, play, uh, veteran players, having represented the Philippines in the youth team since she was 14 years old, very young. She currently holds 40 appearances and 11 goals for the Philippines. Her commitment to the sport and dedication to our country has paved the way for her to become one of the faces of homegrown talent in Philippine football. So, she prides herself in being an alumna of Miriam College and Ateneo de Manila University, having won numerous awards like Most Valuable Player and UAAP Best Striker in Season 77. Alongside representing the country and playing football, she currently owns and operates an e-commerce platform which works with Sari Sari store owners, wow, to empower their businesses. Pwede pala natin tong partner sa Big C. Determined to make an impact beyond yes. the pit, she often advocates for women empowerment. This is very big. See, investment in women's sports and empowering the Filipino youth through sports. So she believes in mind and body alignment, the value of hard work, and most especially the strength of a Filipino woman. So without further ado, I give to you 
Pam Rodriguez. So, palakpakan naman dyan. Hey. Hello! Hello. Good evening po. Good evening sa ating lahat. Hello. At nang nasa Instagram, Facebook. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Eunice, Bill, for having me tonight. Okay. Yes, ang po po po. Diba? Thank you. Thank you so much. Kasi I think this is the first time, kahit hindi in person, no, of me talking to, you know, like a woman in a national team. O diba? Ang bongga. And um, yeah, we're so glad to have you here, Cam. And thank you for accepting our uh, invitation for today's video. They always say that for today's video. Sige na. We're on our way. I know. For for today's video. Ayan. So, Uh, aside from the simulan ko na ha ayan medyo marami na marami na nanonood sa atin no uh, simulan ko na aside from the the super um uh, good and uh, great intro na sinabi ni Uni sa atin and it's also interesting pala kasi di ba uh, i forgot to mention this kanina no when we were chatting behind the, the before the live you actually have ano pala a uh, uh, platform yung e-commerce platform that works with sari sari store owner so Diba? Parang kumbaga, you're not, uh, the concept of Big C is not, is not new sa'yo. But before we delve into that, uh, aside dun sa narinig namin, tell us something siguro about yourself, kung ano ginagawa mo, tapos ano yung favorite mong ginagawa at the moment? Yeah, sige. Um, so I'm Cam. Minsan tinatawag ako ng mga tao Cam Rod because of my name. Uh, favorite kong gawin, honestly, ngayon, football talaga. So, in-enjoy ko talaga yung pag-train at pagpalakas. Um, but definitely, in between um, trainings, I enjoy spending time with family. So, ate ako ng, ilan na ba kami ngayon? Anim na magkakapatid. And we have like two adopted cousins in our house. So, ate of eight. <laughs> uh, so, I've always enjoyed my time. And puro babae kami, mind you. Ah. So, yung tatay ko very... <laughs> Overpowered by ladies. Kaya maganda, maganda yung balance sa bahay. Laging maingay, masaya dahil maraming bata. So, I love um, it. Yeah. If you ask any of my friends, mama ko. Tawag nila sa akin, mama Cam. Dahil talagang ate everywhere. Ate sa bahay, ate sa mga friend group. So yeah, that's me. Very wow. Very yes, I love I, it. I, it's a very woman-empowered household. I could imagine. <laughs> Kahit yeah. asa namin, maraming babae. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine there's eight diba? kids, and then there's a mom, and then there's one dad. So, yeah, very interesting, ha? Very interesting. Ah, yes. uh, sige. Um, mamaya papasa ko kay Eunice yung Q&A, no? But, yes. na-mention to ni Eunice kanina na you're, you're, you're really an elite athlete, no? A, a national yes. athlete. And, uh, um, kumbaga, parang, syempre hindi ka naman parang one day, uh, one day you woke up and, okay, I'm a national athlete. Of course, um, um, hindi hindi ganon. Life doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Kahit gusto ko maging national athlete tomorrow, I cannot do that, no. So, Cam, uh, tell us siguro more about um, how to be a national athlete. How how did you start your career, your journey? Ilang taon ka nung nung nagtrain ka for for football, ganon? Yeah. Um, ako growing up, talagang athletic ako as a, as, a ch- as a child. So, kahit anong sports sinabag ako ng mga magulang ko. So, I went through everything. Swimming, taekwondo, etc. And then, um, but with football specifically, I started at the sidelines. So, naikinood lang sa tatay ko, sa kapatid ko. Sila, sila kasi una nagpo-football. Tapos, ayun, na-engany na rin ako at sumabak ako into, into the football world no, at 10 years old. So, I just joined the summer clinic sa may Ateneo Football Center. Uh, oh, tama, Ateneo Football Center. Tapos, from there, tuloy-tuloy na. Thankfully, um, na-recruit ako sa varsity team namin sa, sa school. Tapos, na-call up ako sa national team at 14 years old. No? So, um, youth national teams pa yon So, meaning mga kababata yung mga kasama ko nun. Uh, so, under the age groups of 16 first, and then 19 year olds. And then, at around 16, ayan, fortunate na nasama ako sa senior team. So, meaning I was training with uh, players who were twice as old as me, or, or a couple years older. And, yeah. 10 years later, 27, I'm still here representing the country and still always, always grateful for the opportunity to do so. Dali. 40 Dali. years old. You need to know what you're 14 years old. Ka. <laughs> Wag na natin tanongin, ma'am. Basta definitely, 
hindi sports related. As in, hayahay, gano'n, nag-aaral ka, lumalabas. Yeah, I, you know. when, when, diba, when Kamu saying uh, she started training at the age of 10, tapos nung 14 siya, and then 20, 14, you started training, or 16 ba, you started training with senior team. I was like, I, I I had a mini reflection of my life. What was I doing when I was I was your age? But yeah, that's very, kumbaga na, uh, I was just, I, I was just interested in asking that question kanina kasi nga, um, we want to, kumbaga parang to emphasize no? because, you know, Pixie is something that we, we do, uh, where we do, you know, like we provide knowledge, network, and tools. And these things do not come overnight knowledge does, doesn't come overnight tools don't come overnight the, 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 you know your 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 expertise in a in a tool doesn't come overnight uh, what else insights wisdom knowledge network definitely doesn't come overnight and that's what actually um come um experience though 10 years old kabe nagte-train na siya and training is that it's it's not easy yet. tapos ngayon she's 27 so that's and she's still training even though she's now part of the national of the national team representing the philippines here and there everywhere in the world she's still doing she's still doing the training so Kumbaga parang there's no there's nothing overnight and that's very laudable na na talaga nagpapatuloy pa rin siya. And I think that applies to, you know, lahat ng kababaihan. Eunice? Um, sorry, sa IG daw, hindi kita yung face. Ayan. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. To add lang, can I add, Vail, no? On what yes, you said? of course. Definitely. So, para sa akin, um, pag na-invite ako sa mga speaking events, like fortunately with Dixie now, but I really always emphasize the, the importance of my support system. Ang tawag ko sa kanila, no, uh, my village. So ano bang yung ibig sabihin nun? Ito yung lahat ng tumulong sa akin na nag-extend ng help in any form, be it an opportunity or kahit like water bottle. <laughs> yung mga nanay, mga soccer parents dyan. Pero every, each and every person who I've encountered along the way, um, they are considered of my village and are the reason why I'm even here standing, no? And uh, so one, yun, know your know your village, know your worth, but also at the same time, know that everything adds up. Para saan, kasi lahat ng nagawa ko, um, para siyang hulugan, <laughs> mag-isipin natin, no? Hulugan, kada training, siguro, talala na ako ng isang oras, hulugan to dahil gusto ko yung future na malakas ako, magaling ako para sa, sa bansa ko, no? So it, it's the same with, with, for example, the business, every time you spend um, networking, investing in your own skills, that's actually, you know, an investment towards the you that you want to be, the future that you want. So definitely, we are aligned in that aspect. No, kaya masaya ako na ma maingani yung discussion natin. Yeah, let's let's continue. Bago ho, bago ho mag speech. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You actually said you actually discussed two very good points of having a village or having a community and investing in yourself. Alam mo um um dati kasi yung 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 traditional na investment, feeling talaga natin yung investment is maglalabas ka mag, maglalabas tuloy. Maglalabas ka ng pera tapos maglalagay ka sa pair. Correct. But I like what you said na every single time na ini-invest mo like in a business or in your sports is actually investing in yourself. Na gusto ko yun, yung parang hulugan. Hindi siya parang, okay, one time, it, it, mag-train ako 36 hours, dila dila siya, and then I will sleep mm. for the next 15 days. That doesn't, <laughs> di ba? It doesn't, yeah, it, it doesn't happen like that. So, um, Eunice, may question ka ba kay, kay Cam? Actually, gusto ko munang mag, mag-add up dun sa sinabi ni Cam. Kasi it's, it's so amazing na at a young age, makaataya ang age naman ako. One year lang yung bata niyo sa akin. Hindi sa kaalaman niyo, di ba? I mean, at that age, parang yung, yung ganyang words, yung, yung ganyang thinking, yung ganyang wisdom, I mean, sobrang nakakamangha and very, very empowering as a woman. I mean, uh, hindi, parang ko ba sasabihin? Ayun nga, second is that, Yes, hindi lahat about investment na like pera. Investment can come in many, many forms. The village camps that you were mentioning a while ago, it's also an investment. People investment. I mean, you, yeah. you invest in people yeah. too, diba? Time. Diba sabi nila, a time is gold. So time din is also yes, an investment. Yeah. You invest your uh, time sa tao. Ganun, diba? As in, I love it. Very short pa lang tong talk natin, but ang dami ko ng takeaways from you. So, let me proceed with uh, 
uh, third third question. question. Yes, oo. Dahil athlete ka, syempre, I mean, your your day is a little bit different from our usual days. Kunwari ako sa corporate world din yan, or yung mga regular people. So, what did your regular day look like as an athlete? And ano yung daily routine mo? We can't wait to hear it kasi minsan lang kayo maka-invite ng national athletes, ba? Diba? So, fire away, go! Yeah, um, definitely. Sa akin, a regular day would look like starting my day with breakfast. Yun talaga. <laughs> Madaming, kasi when we think about, when I think about my days, nag-iiba siya eh. Kung nasa tournament ba ako, naka-follow kami sa schedule. As in, down to the hours ng following schedule namin. Pero outside of tournament and camp, it's a little bit more flexible because we're either working with ourselves or with another team. Um, so, pero pag tinitignan ko the past, ano, 10, 12 years, my life really as an athlete always starts with breakfast and um, I make it a point to never miss my meals. Uh, Siyempre, hindi naman tayo perfect and sometimes that, that happens, we we kind of get carried away or or such, no? Pero for me, you, we always need to start our day right with nutrition um, because Para sa akin kasi yung health, okay. I, I say this because for me, health is really not just exercise and, and you know, a diet. You know, let's let's expand. So for this session, let's expand our understanding of what health really is and maybe improve our relationship with it a bit more, no? So um, para sa akin, health is also the physical aspect. Uh, one, starting my day with the breakfast. Um, and then after, if I need if i have training then i go to training but definitely after i make sure that i eat my lunch and then in the afternoon usually ano yan, um, either a gym session so again eating right after and that's not even dinner yet so parang laging nagbabalance yung yung pag ensayo at pag kain and daming and daming kain kasi syempre fuel ito so gusto natin na fuel natin yung katawan natin be it you know, sa akin as, a, as an athlete, but also to, to you who are professionals, right? And um, yeah, so that's when I think about my day, I always start with breakfast and I try in non-negotiable ko ay breakfast and also I'm um, sleeping at 10.30 p.m. maximum. Kasi para sa akin din, I believe that a good day starts the night before. So you actually have to sleep eight hours of sleep, and it's it's funny because when you think about health, para tayong bumabalik lang din sa mga natututunan natin no, as a kid. So what's important? Health, nutrition, sleep, hydration. Uh, Bill, kakainom mo lang, hydration, you're on the right track. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely um, really fueling our bodies to be able to do what we need to do, be it an athlete, be it professional, as a mother, as as whatever we do as an em- entrepreneur. So yeah. So I met hindi hindi siya direct uh so, sagot no kasi talaga nag-iiba siya per day. So now I'm off camp. Um so meaning hawak ko yung oras ko but definitely once we enter camp, the oras na yung ano namin, yung araw namin. Breakfast talaga. Breakfast is king. Alam mo nakaka-relate ako diyan. Talagang kahit Nag, nag-late dinner ako like the night before, hindi ko pwede ma-miss ang breakfast kasi nakakainit ng ulo. <laughs> Wala ako sa ulo. Ako din. Breakfast, diba? I'm, I'm not a morning person actually, no? I mean, I, I don't wake up really late naman, but I'm not the type of person who would wake up like 5 a.m. Ganun. But but if I have to work, then I would. But I really value din. Gusto ko yung ganun, yung I, I really value yung coffee and breakfast time for me. Kasi it sets my day. And sabi mo nga, a good day starts the night before. I'm gonna try to do that. Kasi late din ako natutulog. But yeah, I'm gonna try to, I'm, I'm trying to do that. Sige. Uh, eto, so, na-mention mo yung off-cam and on-cam na life mo, no? Uh, so, may mga time uh, pag you're, you're on-cam. Ibig sabihin ba nun, you're training na, you're starting to train for um, for yeah, like a... So, I would be training with a team then. And we are in like an isolated, isolated area na talagang yung focus ay ang pag-ensayo. So, yun yung camp life, tournament life, ganun. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, 
you mentioned kanina uh, we, we, during your introduction we we mentioned that uh you're working actually with an online platform uh for women with Sari Sari store so you're also an athlete and you know there's a lot of things going on in your life and these things are not easy these are not pretty easy and you know maraming makaka-relate dito ng mga kababaihan kasi mahirap maging ano no maghirap maging babae kasi especially mga moms, mga mommies, ganyan, mga, mga uh, tapos breadwinners pa, may negosyo, may mga anak, may pinag-aaral. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I'm not even like a mom, but you know, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen um, some moms up close, no? and you know, time management. So, how do you manage your time? And how do you manage your time? Like, working, training, being part of your family, being an ate, um, you know, time, yung finances mo din. Paano yun? How do you, how do you, like, baka pwede mo ikika sa amin, no? How, how do you, you know, like, manage all these things? Right. Um, para sa akin, talagang, yung, yung starting point ko ay priorities ko. So, priorities natin, di ba? Um, pati, so, number one, know your priorities. Number two, also, what are your non-negotiables, di ba? Kasi, non-negotiables in terms of maybe in, in specific aspects. So, kung aspect mo in terms of physical and mental well-being. No? Na kailangan everyday may coffee ka sa umaga. Maglalaan ka ng coffee sa umaga. So, just taking a step back, ganito yung pag-approach ko sa, sa time management dahil may paniniwala ko na connected yung um, thoughts natin sa feelings natin, sa behaviors natin. So, um, for me, since I'm a graduate of psychology also, diba, um, it really is connected. And uh, when you start with a thought, let's say the thought is, I want to be the best athlete I want to be. <laughs> diba? Or I want to, to be the best professional I want to be. If that's your thought, then you start to think, okay, how do I feel about it? And how, what are the actions needed to make that happen? So, dun ka na bababa, no? So, so that's an invitation right now to think about what your your thoughts are because your thoughts and your priorities, yun yung importante, di ba? So, iba-iba naman tayo ng uh, pinagsisimulan. So, I'm able to manage my time because I know that my priorities right now, in this moment, di ba? Uh, November, ano ba tayo ngayon? September 22, 2022, that I need to be the best athlete I can be because my priority right now is the national team. But if you were to ask me a year, two years ago when the pandemic started, my priorities back then actually was my company, no? So yung sinasabi nating um, e-commerce platform to deliver grocery items, etc. So, so if you were to ask me then, my priorities would be, okay, I need to start my day maybe at 7 a.m. to prepare for my 9 a.m. meetings. But now, because my priorities right now is the national team, again, that's where that's where I uh, that's where I make decisions according to what my priorities are. Um, so for me, I know that I am able to be successful because I know that health is not just physical i know that's also mental so na mention to ni nis kanina no so that health is wealth but i also believe that time is also wealth so how are we able to make the most time that we can be for what we want but also at the same time be balanced no so what does this mean so for me kasi health is wealth because by being physically healthy alam naman natin na Again, hulugan siya because in the long term, gusto natin ng masaganang buhay, gusto natin ng mas maraming oras sa ating pamilya, di ba? Na yung expenses natin, yung cost natin, mapupunta sa pagsagana rather than sa mga hospital bills na, di ba? Hospital bills and also at the same time, um, just unwanted costs that that isn't, you know, expected and all. So, for example, yung ano ba? So pagtatanungin mo ko sa kung paano maging ma-prioritize yung ating physical health, iimbitahin ko kayo para isipin din, kamusta ba yung mental health natin? Naglalaan ba tayo ng, ng oras para sa sarili natin? Ha? Alam naman natin if we're, lalo na kung yung ibang mga nanay, 
di ba, hindi, ang dami-daming, like, saludo ako sa mami ko, mami, mom shop eight, <laughs> di ba, na, na nakaka homemaker siya, nanay siya, pero at the same time, ah, entrepreneur siya, pero at the same time, she's her own person, di ba, and, and we wear many hats as people, so it's all about what we prioritize um, and what are our non-negotiables. If your non-negotiables are making sure that you talk to your kids in bed or making sure you have, um, at least 30 minutes to yourself maybe to stretch before diba, um, going to bed, then you make decisions according to that. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> did I miss anything sa questions? No? So, you, no. so ang, ang makukuha ko dito is that yung, yung priorities natin or yung mga gusto natin unahin, nagva-vary siya depende sa kung nasang sitwasyon tayo. Yes. Diba? Exactly. At saka, syempre, kung like, ano yung gusto mo ba talagang unahin, di ba? Kasi kapag hindi mo na, kapag hindi mo alam kung paano is it like priorities mo, you would also lose a lot of time. And going back dun sa pinag-usapan natin kanina, time is also an investment. But time is also gold. So kapag nasayang yung investment mo sa time, para ka din nasayangan ng pera, na nasayangan ka ng oras, na lose time ng like walang, walang sense, di ba? So ayun, mm-hmm. yun lang yun sa akin. Um, I also want to, you know, Akam, when you were saying, when you were, when you were answering, no, nag-notes talaga ako kasi, uh, um, tawag dito, natuwa ako and appreciate ko that you discussed, you know, your, your, your knowledge on psychology about, you know, like, this is how I think and this is how I feel and this is how I behave. Minsan kasi, we segment may tendency tayo na gano'n, na we segment na parang, ay, ito yung thoughts ko, pero ito yung feeling ko, tapos iba yung behavior. And maganda yung sinabi mo na these are all connected, apparently. Like, yeah. these things are all connected, your thoughts, your feelings, and your behavior. And and that's how we, kumbaga parang, how we look at things that we prioritize, which, which you mentioned nga, what are your priorities, and what are your non-negotiables. So, I've always heard this health is wealth, di ba? Nung mga bata tayo sa school, laging sinasabi, health is wealth. Tapos parang sige, alam natin, di ba? Pinapastel, spell health, spell wealth, ganyan. Tapos hanggang dun na lang. But growing older, it's really wealth pala. Kasi di ba, getting an emergency, I don't know, emergency surgery or emergency, I don't know, um, um, procedure, is really a lot. Especially ngayon, ang taas ng ang taas ng lahat ng cost, cost ng bibihin, yung peso ng value, na, ay, ang value ng peso na ng pababa, di ba? Parang spaghetti na siya. So, alam mo yun, na it's it's really, kumbaga, parang we have to, we have to watch out sa mga bagay na we have to really, ano, check our priorities. And I I love when you mention na, kasi yung mommy mo, di ba? She's also an entrepreneur, she's also a mom. But, you mentioned that she's also her own person. Ang ganda noon kasi, di ba, um, I don't know who said this before. Is it, is he or she some someone na popular? But di ba, you cannot pour out from an empty cup. No? Now, pag ubos na ubos ka na mentally, ubos na ubos ka na physically, or even ubos na ubos ka na financially, anything. When you're empty, you cannot pour out anything. So, um, I, I love your points. I actually post, I actually wrote them in a post-it and I'll put it in my planner para pag I open my planner I can see it every day. Yeah. Oh, so, <laughs> thank you, Will. Tama. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, um, yeah, go. Sorry, to add, to add that, no? Kasi, um, again, going back to the concept of like investing in ourselves at, at, at and creating, you know, the future that we want to be, eh? uh, that we want, no? It starts now in the present at Siguro i-imbitahin natin yung mga viewers natin na isipin na everything adds up. So meaning kung lahat ng ginagawa natin for ourselves, it, all the good, it adds up. Pero isipin din natin na lahat din ng mga negative, ng mga maybe the times that we we don't, our actions won't align towards our future, it adds up also. So, di ba, very, especially kayo, very knowledgeable kayo in terms of finance. In terms of cash flow or in terms of negatives, it just cancels each other out. So we'd want na mas mas madami yung plus, mas madami yung wealth natin rather than all the losses. And and this could be prevented um, by being mindful of ano nga ba yung priorities natin, of being mindful of 
um, the value of our 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 knowledge, the tools, and what Big C is trying to do. No, so um, it really is an, an intentional act, de ba? Hindi naman madale gawin to dahil every day, de ba? Sa dami nating ginagawa, um, madale lang mag-go with the flow, de ba? So it yeah. really is making time, being intentional. Ano ba ang gusto nating gawin? Para sa atin, para sa pamilya. Before we go to the next question, uh, Ayan, Jingle, mayroong tanong dito ang ating masugit na, na tagapanood, si Ate Olive. Dumating na ba daw sa point mo <coughs> na hindi ka nakapag-practice? Like, hindi mo nagawa yung rule mo or, yung, or hindi mo nasunod yung priorities mo as an athlete kasi busy ka sa business mo and or sa family mo? Kanda ng tanong. Yes, thank you Ate Olive no. Um para sa akin siguro mas pinaka naging prominent to nung pandemic. So nung 2020 um siguro kaka-start ko lang ng business maybe 6 7 months in tapos nagpandemya, lahat nag-close down. Uh, siguro blessed na lang din at fortunate ako na yung line of business ko nasa may uh, retail side siya meaning ano siya um what do you call those? Co- essential. Ayan. Essential work kami. <laughs> diba? Kasi kami nagsusupply sa mga groceries, sa mga, um, ng mga essential items like cleaning materials, food, etc. So, at that time, of course, the business aspect, yun yung present ko, yun yung, diba? The reality that I was facing. But on the athlete side, yung reality ko noon, diba? Kailan ba maglalaro ulit? <laughs> Diba, takot na takot tayo na na makontak lang anyone outside of our family, di ba? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, sporting events then was very much nowhere in the near future. And um, in the first six months of the pandemic, I did try to still um, balance both being an athlete, being a professional, no, an entrepreneur. Um, Nag-Zoom trainings pa ako. Nag-workout pa ako the Zoom sa, sa training, no? Uh, tapos after, siguro that starts in the morning, 6 a.m. Tapos pagkatapos mag-meeting ako, etc. Um, pero, like anything, like the, what the pandemic has taught us, no? Na ano ba yung importante sa akin noon? At yung importante na I had to choose. So, football took a backseat and I had to, and I wanted to focus more on my professional life because, um, because at that time, I also needed to, you know, uh, kailangan buhayin ko din yung aking mga empleyado. At yung empleyado, parang may kinailangan kong maging balance. Or parang yung priorities ko nun, mas mabigat yung sa professional life ko. And um, it was a hard decision to make, but I knew it was the right one. Uh, and maybe for a year, I worked through the pandemic. Um, so, minsan nasa warehouse pa ako, nag-iempahe ng mga goods. So, ganong level. Pero, because that was my priority, that was what my actions led to it. So, um, and then, with the natural course of things, ng twen- a year after, 2021, at uh, the tournaments were in sight, doon na ako bumalik din ng football eventually. So, it really is... Um, Asking yourself a hard questions, ano ba talaga yung gusto mong gawin? Because again, hindi ka pwedeng uh, ma-spread thin, di ba? Hindi, like what Bill said, no? Na you can't pour yourself to every other cup. Para sa akin, importante na um, na alam ko kung ano yung priorities ko at uh, pag magbibigay ako 100% para hindi din ako ubos nakakabibigay sa sobrang daming aspeto sa buhay ko. No? So, yeah. Grabe. Ang galing. Wala akong masabi, no? I mean, bago ko makapagbigay ng like sarili mo o makapaglaan ka ng like sarili mo sa iba't ibang aspeto ng buhay mo, kailangan magsimula ka sa sarili mo. Kailangan you're full, you're well, you're sane, siguro, ganun, bago ka makapag bahagi ng like uh, self mo sa or, or before you get to do several things or like several stuff. So, ang galing. As in, nakatulong na lang ako, nakikinig lang ako. Marang, eka, lahat mo. <laughs> Thank you. Diba? Alam mo, um, minsan nakakalimutan natin yun and we always, kasi diba, awang, awang ko sa, sa, sa law kasi, there's this, there's this Latin term which means, uh, ano nga, nemo.cod, 
non habit something like that but it means mm-hmm. you cannot give you cannot give what you don't have Memo, yes, uh-oh. So, uh-oh. feeling natin feeling natin nag-apply lang yun sa things but it also applies to ourselves actually so that's a very that's a very very good uh, point reminder na, lang <laughs> yeah it's a very good reminder yung mga sinabi mo na parang oo nga no kasi sabi mo you cannot spread yourself thin or doing this doing that doing that without you know like going back to yourself so eto um um para to sa lahat no para to sa lahat this question is actually for everyone um may mga times ba na feeling mo ah, wanna give up na ayoko na to i don't wanna do this anymore tapos what what's making you stay and yeah what, what's pulling you back in every single time bigate na question yun will see you next muna <laughs> Joke lang. Um, so the question is, is this more pertaining to as an athlete or more for the business? Yeah, pwede mm-hmm. din, pero like, din. ikaw talaga as as, ka, mm. ikaw. as a person ang yes. gagawin ko. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Actually, oo. And uh, good question because this this hard question or the hard questions you know napatanong ako nito recently lang so may time talaga na sabi ko ano bang anong bang point ng ginagawa ako dito sa lahat and and the thoughts that were in my mind were were it was like oh i have to yun talaga yung laging simula ng thoughts so oh, oh i have to train oh i have to work out oh i have to pay uh this this um resource because i want to uh, become better etc i have to do this as in yun lagi yung simula ng aking thoughts and and i was mindful enough to be to 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 observe that at inisip ko bakit have to diba sino sino mang nagpapagawa sa akin ito like <laughs> yung tatay ko ba yung yung coach ko ba ako ba Sabi ko, hindi. Ako lang naman. Diba? It is me who wants to do this. It is me who who chooses to do this. And and that realization for me really, um, para akong nagka-aha moment, nagka-eureka moment. No? Na parang, nobody is making me do all of this. Nobody is making us do this. Of course, we have priorities. Of course, we have um, to make ourselves live. But again, Diba? Tayo lang ang may control sa ating buhay and and I think it empowered me also because I know that th- this choice, this is mine, this is my choice na gawin ito. Gusto kong um, magtrabaho dahil gusto ko in the future um, ma- makakagib back din sa aking diba? mga magulang. Gusto ko kalingan sa football kasi alam ko na in the future... Um, para to sa para mas madali yung buhay ng mga future football players, de ba? So so it's knowing so parang by realizing that everything I'm doing is is my choice, it sort of empowered me to know that there are still things within my control and there will always be things within our control, de ba? Or as kahit oras pa natin to, di ba? Iba-iba tayo eh. Iba-iba tayong kwento, iba-iba tayong situation sa buhay. But there will always be things that we can control. Um, and for the things that we cannot control, maybe just acceptance in knowing na labas na to sa atin at, um, at may, may higher being. If, you know, if you're Christian, and if you're Christian and Catholic, there's a God. If, um, if you believe that it's in the universe, di ba? There, there are really ganito yung buhay. May, we have things that are outside of control, but always remember na meron din in our control. And yeah, that has really kept me going and has, I guess, revitalized me. Siguro a month ago, um, I really hit rock bottom and and for now, I feel like I'm living a, a new second life. <laughs> because That's, of that. Yeah, that's very, that's, uh, that's very, I don't know, that's very encouraging and empowering then on to hear uh, on ako ah, personally kasi um, yeah, I also have those times na parang ayoko na, ba't ko nga ba ginagawa to? Alam mo yung, yeah, but sino nga bang pumipilit sa akin? Wala. Alam. And sometimes it, it keeps you motivated then when you realize. And yun nga, pag may mga, may mga bagay talaga na out of our 
hands and sabi nga ng mga sabi nga ng mga Twitter um Twitter zens nandoon na sila sa acceptance stage agad so <laughs> Sometimes hindi na yung joke, totoo na, na parang, okay, nandito na ako sa acceptance stage. Um, eto, Kams, uh, we only have 10 minutes na, no? So, siguro, let's, um, I'm, may man nakita ko nag ask but eto siguro yung, eto siguro yung next question ko is, um, yung makaka-relate lahat ng nandito. Kasi, ako, Diyos ko, hindi ako maroon mag-football. Uh, manonood na lang siguro ako ganun but um you are a physically healthy and you're a national like national pride national athlete no but syempre hindi naman kami lahat pwedeng maging national athlete ewan ko kay Eunice kung balak niya maging ano ah, star football player din so <laughs> siguro <laughs> buhay ko. Masaya. So, siguro, di ba, um, baka pwede kang mag-suggest ng mga exercise routines naman or mga exercises na pwedeng gawin, especially ng mga rice women natin na, you know, nagkabang nagpabantay ng tindahan or before or after mag-prepare ng mga baon ng mga anak nila, ganun, para they can also start start a healthy regimen and of course, a fit lifestyle. Ayan. So, sige, Go. Yun, sa akin, two things. First, ano, start where you are um, and start with what you have. And start simple. <laughs> diba? So, uh, I always encourage if you are someone who really is starting from a sedentary lifestyle, meaning uh, lit, zero to little experience in terms of exercise, start with walking. Diba? A five-minute walk can really change your your day and like what we said, investment ito. So every five five minute walks for seven days, about 30 minutes na yun. And you could build up on that even more. Kasi alam naman natin na once we are able to to do something, even if it's small, it helps. It's a compounding effect na malay natin if we start our day with a five minute walk, parang maingganyo ka na na, wow, nagawa ka yun. So sige. Uh, mas ready na ako pumunta sa sa tindahan, mas ready na akong maybe mag-work, di ba? Or, or etc. So start where you are and if you are maybe more active, maybe you work out, you know, a couple of times a week, then maybe you just reflect on what your goals are. Di ba? Kung goals mo ba ay uh, tumakbo ng isang triathlete, set your, set your day according to that. But if it's just to... Um, be healthy, a healthier person, um, a more balanced person, then um, make sure you touch your cardio side. Cardio it can be walking, swimming, jogging, and the strength side. Strength meaning you build your muscle. So what we know about squats, core, exercises. So it really, you know, it really, it's really up to you kung nasan ka ngayon. And sa hand start small, build up, because everything adds up. Yun talaga yan. So, um, and then second is, uh, I guess, reassess your mind and body. <laughs> Kung ano yung relationship nito, Because, hin- um, again, I, I emphasize the connection of mind and body. You know, because uh, once we are, when we, when we are physically healthy, mentally also, we're able to do more. We, we feel better about ourselves or pe- the people around us. Mas energetic tayo. Um, so, see lang, see, tignan natin kung nasan tayo in relation to that. Um, but for me, I encourage you to, <laughs> to, to again, if kaya natin mag five minutes na jogging, baka pwede din natin gawin five minutes of maybe quiet time for ourselves. Diba? And, and same with the physical aspect, the mental aspect. If you can add that up, maybe five minutes a day na, na walang pwedeng kumahusap sa'yo or gagawin walang yung pinakagusta mo lang sa five minutes sa'yo. So, uh, and, and when we're able to do that, um, may kita din natin yung effects eh, para sa hand. Let's, let's stay consistent with that. Uh, let's start small. So, let's challenge ourselves maybe one week, five minutes, do something for your mind and do something for your body every day baka doon tayo magsimula and we build up on that tapos and when you build up maybe you extend from 5 minutes maybe 10 minutes diba? and so on and so forth depending on your goals and really what's accessible to you at kung nasaan ka ngayon in terms of um, your lifestyle your profession your responsibilities yan ang ganda noon yes i sorry um, gawin natin, bigyan natin ng challenge yung mga rice women natin, the five-minute challenge. Oo, oh, tama. Ay, ganda. Ano, 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 ano,
di ba? Parang five minute challenge. Like starting tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Ano yung five minutes na ginawa ko for my my uh, physical body and ano yung ginawa ko for my for my mind? Ganda uh, nun. Para sa hand, so in na, na, na excited ako dun sa challenge yun. No? Uh, I encourage na ilista din nila, document. Sa hand, you can't, mm-hmm. you can't measure, uh, you can't improve on what you don't measure. So, five minutes sulat nila or baka, baka may group chat kayo na magsisendan kayo. Oh, this is what I did for your physical health or my mental health. Diba? So, yeah. Actually, ginagawa namin yun ang pinsan ko. Uh, pero hindi, okay. not more on the sa exercises and stuff. Okay. Nag, nag-check kami ng weight ng isa't isa. Okay. <laughs> nag-check kami ng weight ng isa't isa tapos we constantly remind each other na don't eat this, don't eat that. Kasi if, mm-hmm. if I may share, meron kasi akong picos, meron din siyang picos. So, monthly kami nag-update, oh, wag kang kumain niya, wag kang gumanto, ganyan. Yung weight mo, ano yung weight mo ka So, we we watch on each other's weight. So, yes. yung challenge na like, naisip in na yung Rika moment mo, ma'am, ang ganda niya, ano, pag-usapan natin yan off-cam, kailangan natin yung pag- <laughs> pag meeting and hindi uh, i mean i'm not kidding kasi we are heavy on financial literacy investment knowledge network but we also have to tap the other side of being a woman diba? like being healthy diba? not yes. only financially but physically healthy kasi nga diba? like what you said kanina it's very very holistic eh. dapat lahat you're going mm-hmm. to touch every aspect of it diba? hindi pwedeng dito ka focus kung dito mo lang gagaling nga, diba? Alam naman natin with women, diba, we encounter um, different, like, for example, you have because there's other also who are maybe going through menopause or others who, you know, yung mga nanay, after really giving birth, gabi yung effects din ng, ng pagpapanganak, lalo na kung multiple children, sa kanilang, sa ating mga katawan as women. So, even when sleeping well on exercise, that, that's a lot. So, it helps tama yun is na meron kang parang accountability partner. So, maganda to para sa rice women natin na uh, para kayong support system for each other. You're each other's villages and uh, isa, para, isa tong exercise na para palakasin pa yung bonds uh, with each other. Ayan. Very nice. Right? Gawin natin to. We'll, 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 you know, we'll inform you. Inform ka namin. Mag-check in din ako in a month, ah. Where are we in the five-minute challenge? Mga mamaya, instead na, instead na palaki ng palaki, instead na maging 10 minute and then 30 minute naging, naging wala na. Let's not do that. Let's, let's, let's build. Kung baga, let's build it. Let's, let's try to improve naman. So, and maganda yun yung to, ano, to, um, to write it down. Journalize. Journalize. I'm big on journal, so... Journals. <laughs> yes. So, so uh, yeah, so yun, start simple and start where you are. So, wag, uh, ladies, wag tayong ma-ano, wag tayong ma-stress out na, naku, wala akong ano eh, wala akong weight sa bahay, wala akong treadmill, wala akong this and that. Hindi, kailangan nyo lang yung sarili nyo. Um, actually, na-mention ko nga kanina to, uh, kina Yunis, no, ay, sa bahay, ang meron lang ako ay yoga yeah, mat. Yeah. Tapos, um, last year lang ako nagkaroon ng weights kasi nga, pandemic, so, eh, dati naman sa office meron. So, and ang favorite kong gawin kasi ay mag-brisk walk or kaya tumakbo. So, wala, sarili ko lang din yung kailangan ko. I usually run dun sa parking lot yeah. namin para walang makakita sa akin kung madapa ako or <laughs> pagod na. <laughs> yung ganun. So, so, yeah, don't don't overcomplicate na hindi lahat tayo may mga sophisticated equipment na you know yung mga ano ba yun hindi ko alam yung mga tao mga elliptical mga ganyan yeah, yeah. no you just start ta- tama si Cam start simple and start where you are with with the resources that what you have at the moment so kung anong meron ba wala nag nagaantay ka ng may sari-sari store si ate yan so, kumbaga si Miss Marjorie may sari-sari store siya tapos wala pang bumili, bumibili. So, pwede siyang mag-sit-ups ganyan or mag-plank siya doon for core. Mga ganun. So, five-minute challenge. Gawin natin yan yung Yes, pag-usapan uh, natin talaga yan. As in, ang magandang challenge yan para sa mga sa mga app users natin at sa mga viewers natin. Also, to add up, no, gusto ko lang uh, sabihin na very refreshing, parang breath of fresh air na imagine nyo, coming from an athlete na talagang exercising yung kanya ko na nakakapag-dependent siya ng like, all exercise tips sa lahat. I mean, 
yung, yung tipo hindi komplikado. I mean, di ba, if you want to be a thing, hindi kami actually correct total para to training. So, it's simple, di ba? So, ano, ano naman yung akin? Daming takeaways for today's video. Yeah. Yun. I'm glad. Ayan. Excited ako sa challenge nyo, ha? Yeah. <laughs> please, oh, let me, please update me. <laughs> oh, itag ka namin. Kung nasa oh, na kami oh, sa challenge. Oh, true. Yeah. You, what I see, so, ano, works for my dad. Sorry. Hello. Yan. Ayan. Uh, okay. Um, siguro, let's guess one. Let's see. May mga questions pa ba? Okay, so I guess na wala sila tinigay sa Facebook. Uh-oh. Dahil sa kanya internet connection. At maybe na wala sa Facebook. Uh-oh. So, kaya mag-join ka ulit. Oh my gosh, alam mo, uh-huh. ano, very remarkable na itong Thursday na to. Kasi within yung one hour na, na first nakilala ka namin and second, parang ang dami kong pwedeng bawa. Dami pang na ako nga. <laughs> yes. Kaso ba mag-usap? <laughs> O, diba? At saka feeling ko kahit na like Thursday pa lang ngayon, parang gusto ko na agad mag-Monday kasi gusto ko nang <laughs> i-apply yung mga na-pick up namin sa'yo. Nakakaloka ako sa'yo, saya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, ano, okay. yun is actually masaya kasi ganun din ginagawa ng tatay ko. Meron siyang community. Him, even at like 54, naglalaro pa rin siya ng football and tinanong ko nga siya kanina, Dad, paano ka ba? Parang what motivates you? Sabi niya, yan. Kasi one, may, uh, may goal siya na may tournament daw sila. Pero at the same time, yung masaya kasi, meron silang group chat. Tapos nagkakansyawan sila. Uy, laki pa ng chan mo ba? <laughs> Pero nagsasend din sila. So again, the network, the community does really help. Uh, tapos, alamin din natin na parang hindi naman kailangan perfect, di ba? Na, yes. na big and audacious goal. Start small. Tapos at the same time, parang um, invitation din na uh, exercise isn't just, you know, one way to be healthy. It's also, diba, the mental side. It's also what we eat, how much sleep we get, diba? Daming, the spiritual side then It's very holistic. So, sana maraming um, kahit onting, maybe mindset, mindset shift lang after this talk for our viewers and okay na yun para sa akin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So, um, uh, thank you so much, Cam. So, galing no, ang, ang dami natin na discuss today. So, I'm 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 still trying to um write down yung mga tingin ko. Kailangan ko every day na may remind ako. And siguro ano, um, do you have any other thoughts or any other ano ba um gusto sabihin sa mga viewers natin before we end tonight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh- Para sa akin siguro, um, so Bixi is all about empowering women no, to know our worth because we know that by knowing our worth, we're able to do more, be more, and and we take it one step further by building on that and growing our worth. And, and for me, just the physical health is so important because it always goes back to us. Diba? Yung, yung katawan natin, isang katawan lang na, isang katawan lang to na binigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. So we only have one la, one body and we really need to take care of it. One mind. So we make sure that um, at the end of the day, kailangan talaga alagaan natin sarili natin because um, because when we do, mas wealthy pa ang at mas magiging wealthy tayo, not just financially, but also in terms of our time, also in terms of our health. So, um, just just know that everything adds up. And again, grow this network. You're if you're watching this, if you're with working with bit with Bixi, you're also on the right path because nag reach out ka, gusto mo pang um, palagoin yung yung alam kaalaman mo. So keep going. And again, thank you, Yunis and Will, for having me today. Ayan, ang galing. Thank you so much, Cam. Know your worth. At the same time, grow your worth. You know, yes. hindi lang physically, but mentally. Like, you know, in all aspects. So, yes. oo, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, itatag ka namin sa five-minute challenge namin. We'll Iko conceptualize pa namin siya. <laughs> oo. Tapos, yeah. ilalong challenge. Itatag ka oo, namin. And I'm sure, and I'm sure marami dito sa mga watchers natin tonight, mga ladies, especially mga ladies, mga rice ladies namin, ready na sila for the five-minute challenge. So, Ayan, Eunice, galingan natin. Dapat tayo maging ano, example of the five minutes. Dapat more than five minutes na tayo. 
So yeah, um, I think uh, we're we're almost at the end ng ating live event tonight. So I think may announcement lang si Eunice, no? Um, yes. At yeah, dahil sa 5-minute um, challenge na yan, oh, uh, uh, overtime na tayo 5 minutes, but allow okay. me to allow me to to promote what's happening inside the app. So, ayan. So, ano nga ba? So, I'm sure lahat kayo nakadownload na nung app, di ba? So, the way to earn your coins is to refer. When you refer or when you give your referral codes to your friends, then that's an automatic uh, fixed coin for you. So, by learning, you will also uh, earn big coins or or Bixie token. So all you have to do is just watch the video. Like, panoodin nyo from the start until the end. Don't skip or wag nyong tapusin sa git up. Wag nyong i-end yung video sa git na. Kailangan tapusin nyo. And by that, natuto na kayo, nag-earn pa kayo. O saan ka pa? For free. Hindi ka nagbayad. Nag-earn ka pa. So next ay, wait on you tayo sa, okay. Ito yung pinakagusto ko din part ng app natin. Kasi inside the app, makakita kayo ng mga deals from women-owned businesses. So, ito yung another way then of how we empower women financially. And uh, alam niyo yun, parang ang, ang pagnanegosyo, hindi siya gender-related lang, but anyone can can own businesses, and especially mga kababaihan. So, first with Lila Lu by Lida Kito. So, yung mga personalized handcraft and, and decorative wires niya. Ayan. So, you can get an exclusive discount when you purchase her items via the Bixie app. Just type in the promo code Bixie. So next ay um, Quite Frankly Studio. So yung mga pang very madam and like very nakakagandang mga, mga kaftan and plus size dresses. Uh, pwedeng pwede nyo siyang mabili for an exclusive discount once you purchase it via the Bixie app. So ano pa ba? Aha, uh-huh. actually that's it naman, but I would have to again discuss what is right. So, di ba kanina pinag-uusapan natin sa talk, women empowerment, uh, helping women financially and all. So, eto na nga, I would like to emphasize further kung ano ba ang core ng Big C. So, ang core ng Big C ay, of course, ang project kay. So, a resilience investments for SMEs that empower women. So, ayan, as of now, meron tayong 513 Filipina entrepreneurs or beneficiaries wherein meron tayong digital or rather end-to-end cash insurance or investment. So, at this time, naka, naka two tranches na tayo. So, one more tranche for, for this month and kompleto na. So, binibigay natin yun sa kanila. Like, hati-hati per um, three tranches in one month. So, and you need... Um, Yes. I-add ko lang ah, this is the first in the, kumbaga this is his, this is the first in the world na yes. digital end-to-end cash, insurance, yes. and investment. So, wala pang nakakagawa nito. So, this is, kumbaga this is her story. Huwag natin gamitin yung history kasi his yun. O, diba? Her story, yes. this is, this is, this is, this is phenomenal as nabanggit mo kanina. Yes. And Bixie ang pioneer dito. So, diba, I mean, kami yung nanguna. So, kami yung standard. Oh, antaray, di ba? So, ayan. So, sa loob ng app, meron din tayong learn to earn. So, di ka lang makakakuha ng like investment through the app, but also you will learn through quizzes, games, and other contents, and even the live event right now. Pwede yung mapanood yung replay nito inside the app. So, ano nga mga requirement? Simpleng-simple la It's just a smartphone and maayos at stable na internet connection. Oh, di ba? Abot kami yan, di ba? Sobrang bongga. I love it. Yun. So, um, I guess that's it for today, uh, for, for tonight's Big C Live. So, uh, oh my gosh, as in, ang, ang saya-saya. I can't wait to start tomorrow. I can't wait to start next week. Thank you very much, Cam, for your Thank time. Thank you, Cam. Thank you so much. Thank you. And it's an honor meeting you, grabe. Ang dami ko natutunan sa'yo. So, Uh-oh. that's... And sana makanood kami. Sana Uh-oh. makanood kami ng ano, ng Sige. game. I'll forward, it, I'll forward the links. Tapos pag in... Tapos tignan natin kung mayroon kaming games dito ulit sa... Yes, sige. Yes, sige. Sana. I, I, would, I, I, I would want to go and watch. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Don't Thank worry. Thank you so much. <laughs> And yeah, thank you din sa lahat ng nag-tune in tonight. I know, uh, umuulan yata. Parang umuulan, hindi ko na umuulan. And 
I'm sure may mga nahirapan uluwi or what. But again, thank you sa lahat po ng mga ladies, especially nung nandito, na I, I, I think yung iba dyan nagluluto, papakain ng anak, but are but still tuned in tonight to listen to our Let's Get Physical um and you know physical and mental wellness session with Cam Rodriguez. So thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kaming salamat. Oh, thank, thank you. you. It's such an honor. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.